record to the cloud. Record is on. Okay, can we hear me? Shumja, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what does it mean to surrender? Oh, when we were in India, Oh, welcome, by the way. Hello. <laughs> welcome to those. Well, welcome to your match. <laughs> I like you being inside and outside and upside down, and that's just beautiful. But when we were in India, um, we sat with um, a female guru in, in the evenings, um, Sadhvaji, and she, she talked about surrender one day. And somebody had asked a question. Um, you know, it, it's hard to, to kind of go back and put it all together, but that was the general topic. And the gist was surrendering does not mean allowing yourself to be run over by others. Hmm. We don't, we're not to be walked on. We're not to be put down. We're not to be dehumanized. We're, we are just as valid of a soul as all other souls. And then our humanity is capped on top. So then we walk around and we act in all these certain ways. And a lot of the ways that, that I know that I have behaved in this lifetime is from a, a very deep sense of not fitting in. So I became a really good chameleon and I could fit in with this group and then I could fit in with that group and I could say the right things. And then I grew up some and I realized mostly that there was a deep sense of loneliness that went with that. And, and then I, we started the journey of learning how to belong. That doesn't mean I have 50 friends. Most of us don't. So I had to surrender. I had to, I had to step away because fitting in, I was allowing people to step on me, walk on me, use me, or, or not even necessarily use me, but, but, oh, I had a conversation with somebody yesterday about not saying no. Saying no is actually good in many circumstances. It's honoring my space. It's honoring your space. And it's acknowledging, you know what, I don't have anything left for that. So saying no for a lot of us is hard. So we surrender into some of these things. So we're going to do a little bit of a practice around that so that we can pull those things up in the body and we can kind of look at them face to face. Because that's what yoga is good for. Man, I've looked at a lot of things in this lifetime since 2003. Woo, been a long time. Plant your feet. For those of you in the energy world, send that energy way down. And once you're rooted in, column of light all around. Bend the knees almost excessively so that the tailbone can be heavy. Surrender to the feel and the pull of gravity. I love gravity. Death and taxes are not the only thing that's an assurance in this world. The one thing that I have really figured out is an assurance is gravity. It works every single time. <laughs> so bend the knees and allow the gravity to start to draw you in and not in a negative way, draw you in to hug your person, to firm up your bones to cause your skin to draw in a little tighter around this form that you've taken in this lifetime. Let the palms open. Ori is already there. A lot of you are already there. Let the neck lengthen. And with the next breath in, think of it as a cleansing and a releasing but only if that works for you invite in a cleansing and release and as you continue that notice what in the body 
starts to succumb a little more to the pull of gravity. Breathing, releasing it out. Three more times, really pull in with the intention of cleaning and breathing out with release. Two more, bringing it in, sending it away. One more time. Now check back in with the body. Is there a space that seems heavy? Just as case in point, the outside of my left foot feels very strange at the moment. My left knee has a nag. Oh, I wasn't aware. I just wasn't aware. Settling into my energy system. Let the knees straighten, but not lock. Turn the right toes out, slide that foot in so that your heels kiss, and then squeeze those inner thighs and the glutes together. Allow the squeeze of the posterior chain to lift through the abdominal region. Breathe the body. And then shift into the left leg, grab it, the back of a chair if you need to. Slide your heel up the inseam of the leg. Slide it up, slide it up, slide it up. Keep that heel in contact. How high can you slide? And then slide it back down. Moving slowly. So normally we move pretty slowly in yoga, but we want to do this with a sense of purpose. Slide that heel up again. Breathe into it. If the heel doesn't come very high and you need to leave the toes on the floor, make sure that happens. It's funny, my skin's really sticky, so my heel's jumping up my leg. One more time. Surrender into the process. Because what could possibly be the purpose? Place that foot down really softly at first, then shift the weight as if you were going to topple over. Lift the back leg up and out. Let the arms lift in a cactus. So it's the outside of the leg if I need a chair, a wall, if I need to leave the toe on the floor. Beautiful. Now a little bend in the knee. Let the breath help the body surrender. Surrender to what is and who you are in this moment. Because we're perfect. Sweep that leg slowly, 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 slowly. Kiss those heels together. Hands drop out and down. Belly draws in. Squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze the glutes. Allow the squeezing to cause a rising. Let the breath rise with it and release. Right foot steps way back. Keep that foot perpendicular to the front. The arms rotate and then we slide. So I'm just stepping back. I've got a triangle posture. You can make this as wide and as long of a step as you want to, but come into the slide and the hold in the waistline. The hold, what are you holding in life? What am I holding? Well, I'm not really holding anything. So it must be in my person. If I need to put the left hand on the hip, I put the left hand on the hip, but I'm just here, maybe my head could lay out a little more. Breathe the body. and then release the body, sweep up and back. Allow a rising from the back side of the body too. There's a rise and then there's a lean over the rise. 
Breathing in, breathing out. Arms level, front knee bends. Little tiny warrior, little itty bitty, because we're gonna shift into that front leg, slide that foot up and in, and lift that back leg up and out. A bit like a, I don't know, a hood ornament. Boop. Belly button draws in. What part of me is fighting the process? Inhale, exhale, that heel comes to kiss again. Hands pull into the belly. Squeeze into that midline. Move into the yoga. Into that sense of union. Ah, toes turn forward, hands sweep down, the breath pulls them up, and then gravity sweeps us forward and down. Do this as gently as you need to. If the knees need to bend because the hamstrings have been overworked already today, let the knees bend. The goal is to surrender into the hips. The shoulders are very strong. Many of us hold our shoulders up. So then when I go to forward fold, I become round. So the surrender here is the shoulders down, the hip crease happens and the gravity draws. If you need to fold into the seat of a chair, I love to fold into the seat of a chair. Next breath that draws you in bends the knees, hands sweep out, thumbs rotate up, and then lift slow and easy. Hands slide down. <sighs> Left heel comes in to kiss. Ooh, there we go, squeeze. Hold, you've got a, I guess that would be a 90 degree angle with the feet, yes? Okay, <laughs> almost called it a 45. Shh. Breathe in, breathe out, and just hold here. What's here today? We're gonna slide that heel up. Find the inseam, that pant inseam, holding and then sliding down. If you need to be close to a wall for this, be close to a wall. Slide. Breathe. Release. One more time. Slide. Whoop. Hold. The heel just barely kisses the floor. Give it time, give it time, give it time. Then shift, lift the back leg. Knee bend just a little. Where are you in your process? Ah. <sighs> Slide it back in, squeeze, reestablish. I'm gonna turn so that it, we're gonna take that foot and step it back. Arms rise. Am I going the same direction? Go the other direction. <laughs> I was surrendering. I was surrendering. One has found that one cannot surrender and teach at the same time. <laughs> Reach. I knew that felt a little strange in my body, but that was okay. Breathing in. Breathing out. Where, where can my body find peace? The bliss, though, is right here. Sweep up and back. Ah. Lift up and away and then back. As if you were arching over 
the best analogy is like a big water barrel. You're reaching up and over it for something. Breathe the body. Level the arms. Find your little bitty, tiny little warrior. And then shift and draw and shift and draw and lift that back leg. Bloop. So this is in the side body. We're holding through the obliques, strengthening the hip, ankle, calf, little bend, get around that knee joint. Breathe in, breathe out, slide that foot in. Hands come in, squeeze to center, draw away from the earth, draw away from gravity, and then release. Feet side by side, arms sweep up on an in-breath, forward fold, take it down and in. What is in our process right now that is causing resistance? Breathing in, breathing out, knees bend, body rolls up nice and slow. The shoulders are going to roll back. Take the fingers, point them toward the back two corners of the mat if you have a mat. If not, pretend. Collarbones rise, shift into that left foot, right heel kicks behind. So, phase one, toe on the floor. Phase two, a hovering leg. Phase three, reach for the ankle or the foot. Phase four, left arm sweeps forward. And then if you want to do the extension, find the extension, find your woo, dancer posture. So I'm going to switch the angle here. That hand rises and lifts. The foot kicks into the hand, drawing the shoulder back. Extending, reaching, find your point of surrender. I surrendered. Breathe in, breathe out, bring it back into the belly. Inhale, hands sweep down, arms sweep up. Next time, forward fold. Breathe into between the shoulder blades here. Allow the head to release for just one more breath. Knees bend, roll up, shoulders curve back. Fingertips point toward the back side of the mat. Heart lifts. Now, what is the gift that is in your heart today? Can you surrender into that gift and see what shows up when you do the next side of this posture? Shift right, toes, heel lift, grab, sweep and extend. A good suggestion is always to pick a point that isn't moving off in the distance from you. Breathing in, breathing out. What's that gift? What can surrender? You can tell this is my right leg. Ah, other leg was my left leg, not as stable. Breathe in, breathe out, and release. Hands to belly. Feet step off the edges of the mat. Toes turn out, drop in. So knee and hip issues can bring in, ooh, I don't like that posture. Ooh, I don't want to do that posture. Ooh, okay. Free will, change it your yoga. I'm just making suggestions. So if that comes up and in as we sit a little longer than normal, 
Yes. Where's the surrender? Maybe it's I'm maturing in age. Yeah. I don't drink, but a couple of thimbles a year. So therefore, I would probably have to age like cheese, not like wine. <laughs> but so if I'm maturing and things are hurting, sweet surrender, switch it. Drop a little more if you can, though. And notice what stops wanting to surrender. The hands reach out for the points of the knees. On a breath, let the arms rise as if you were lifting the entire sun, the whole sun, and you were going to hold it. It's a good thing it's just nothing but a ball of gas. Then it's light. Not really. Breathe in. Breathe out. Drop a little more if you can. Oh, where is surrender when that happens? Ah. Hands slide to belly. And then lift about two inches. Oh. What's the monologue? Lift another two inches. Where am I in my heart space? Do I jump out of heart space when it gets hard? Lift another two inches. Oh, feel the shake. And then straighten the legs, turn the toes forward, bending at the hips, sliding down and in arms, release at the bottom, surrender. Can there be surrender in the doing and in the not doing? Can we surrender and not be run over? Not be walked on? I might have to journal on that one later. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the wisdom of yoga when one turns oneself upside down. Plant the hands. If you can roll the heels up for just a moment, roll the heels up. Really find a little bit of balance out of the hands. Breathing in, breathing out. Heels come down. If that's all too intense, go ahead and sit down. If it's not intense enough, bend the knees. Prepare the elbows. Crow posture, <laughs> yay, says Ori. Lift up, lift the landing gear. And can we surrender into the hand balance? If you're gonna go ahead and sit on the floor, sit on the floor. Allow the tissues to surrender to the mat. Ah, and release the bones down and in. Legs out, legs in, whatever is going to be most comfortable for a moment. If you're going to go back into a chair, have a seat in a chair. Plant those sits bones nice and firm. Yep, chairs are always welcome. Absolutely. Breathing. So you have to modify a bit for a lot of these in a chair. Currently, we're gonna place our hands on either side of the hips. If you're in a chair, you turn the knuckles out. And staff posture, shoulder blades back and together, spine really long, feet flexed. You want a 90 degree angle. If your hamstrings are already screaming at you, what you're gonna find is that you're gonna to wanna to round to let that go, or if the low back is misbehaving today. Breathe in, breathe out. Right hand rises on a breath in. And then we're gonna take that left hand, I'm trying to make sure that I say this properly, either fingers toward the hips or fingers facing back. We're gonna dig the heels, we're gonna lift the chest, and if we can, we're gonna rise into a one-sided reverse plank. If it's not for you, don't do. Breathe in. 
breathe out and release. That right hand reaches for both toes. The left hand slides out to the side at 90 degrees. If I can't reach physically my toes, my gaze still goes beyond the toes though. That's going to bring the sternum forward and pull me out of that low spine a little bit. Big breath in. Ah, big breath out. Ah, left hand slides to where the right hand is. Right hand comes out at 90 degrees. Belly breathes into the thighs. Ah. Right hand is gonna slide out behind you. Left hand is gonna reach up. If the first side was a no-go, you can always try this side, but if not, just lift but we plant, we dig, we lift, we wobble, we breathe. And then hips lower, hands slide down on either side, find your staff again. <sighs> what in the body is now ready to come for the ride? Hands slide up behind the knees, shift back, parallel shins, 90 degrees at shin and ankle. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Can the heart rise, rise and rise? Use the biceps, rise and rise and rise. In a chair, you're just gonna put your shoulder blades on the back and you're gonna pull either one leg or both legs in. If you've got right hand that wants to come up and give it the, cosmic cow person you can do that surrender to the giggles breathe in breathe out release back to the opposite there that leg and then the opposite arm comes up ah i love me some cosmic cow person see there's glitter that goes with this in my head there's like waves of glitter coming off of my fingers breathe in Bring it down. Soles of the feet come together. Grab onto the ankles or the outside edges of the feet. In a chair, similar thing, or you can just hold on to the backs of the thighs. Breathing in. Allow the shoulders to surrender to the weight of the legs. It's not giving in. It's not giving up. That's all just verbiage, you know? We like to play with words, you know? We love to play with words. We can beat people to death with words. Well, you said, ooh, oh, and surrender. Feet come down, lean in. Roll into those toes, heels as close to the groin space as you can. Surrendering does not mean to fit in. Move into a belonging space within your own self. On the next breath in, grab hold of the back of the thigh, the ankle, or the yogi handle, that big toe. Left hand stays on the shin. We extend that leg out. Shoulder blade draws it up, back, and in. If holding on to the left leg makes you feel secure, leave it there. If not, lift. Big inhale. <sighs> We're gonna bend this leg, bring it across the left thigh, unless the hips don't do that anymore. If not, we're gonna bring it in front of the left ankle. We're gonna lift up and in, left arm hugs, right shin, right arm presents, plants, and lifts. Spinal twist. There's a whole lot of softening 
that goes with yoga. And especially the more you move into the process. I fought the surrendering for probably a decade. Because to me, surrender, as it was being used in an English term, was giving up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Unwind. Reach down, grab that ankle, that toe, or that shin again. Back up and out we go. But then the more you soften into the process, because it is a process, it's practice, it's process. The text, the, the problem is, is with Sanskrit, it, it, the <sighs> translations are so meaty when it comes to one word. And I had to hear it again, and I had to hear it again, and I had to hear it again, and then I had to be hit with the baseball bat, and then I had to get run over by the yoga truck, and then I had to fall out of the yoga airplane on my face. And, and then I was like, oh, now I get it. Breathe in, breathe out, put it down. Roll the body in, soles of the feet together. If the heels need to move away from the body, then they do. If you're in a chair, you're simply putting the soles of the feet together, letting the knees roll out, hands on the knees, and just folding down in between the thighs. It's kind of like that story that I tell where when I was younger and I was playing college soccer, roll that body up, grab onto that left leg however you need to extend that leg out. Shoulder blade rolls in, engagement in the mid and upper back. So here I am playing collegiate soccer and my coach yells, put your heart into it. So I gave it 110%. He kept saying, put your heart into it to people and they would play harder. So I learned to equate, put your heart into it with work harder. It was semantics. I'd gotten it garbled up in my head. And then, I don't know, it was last year? Oh, no, it's this year, right after India. I came up and I was like, oh, I've been defining it wrong. Put that foot down either in front of the ankle or on the other side of the thigh. Lift, wind, and reach. So heart and effort, different ends of the scale. <laughs> They're like, I mean, total apples and oranges, but I would have told you up until about six months ago, seven months ago, they were both apples. Well, I'd have to tell you the bananas because I'm not a huge apple fan. I mean, I do eat them, but I like bananas better. Breathe in. Breathe out. So soften, if that's the better word. Surrender, if that works. Release. Unwind, grab hold of that leg again, reach up, stretch it out. And then just because we're here and we're surrendering to the process and God gave us two legs, we reach down and then we explode with both legs. If that just means pull them up and in with the toes on the floor and the heart lifting, reaching for source. Oh, yes. Reach for something that isn't drama. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. Something that is not the story that has been running around in your head over and over, big breath in. Knees fold in, let those shoulders come down one more time. Weight the hands with the feet and the legs or the backs of the thighs. <sighs> Release the feet, hands behind, windshield wipers. Ah, oh, there we go. And now the windshield wipers and now the twisting. Oh, 
yes. So if you feel the need to zip your practice up and you need to start stretching and lifting and moving, do that. And if the hand comes up and you can have an exhale when the hand comes up and an inhale through center and exhale, you can move really fast and get some really awesome pranayama in here. Next time, left hand lifts. Yep. Just move into it. Lift into it if the hips want to rise. Maybe the shins are down and the hips lift and the body sweeps. And maybe there's nothing else in the world anymore. It's all just energy. The hips come down. We switch to the other side. Lift. And if that's simply a twist and a grab of the knee, twist and a grab of the knee. If you're in a chair, it's a simple spinal twist. If you're going to press down and lift, find the heart and move from the heart. You are perfect. Lower the hips. Hands land a couple of windshield wipers. I'm going to turn around because then otherwise all you see is the back of the head. <laughs> all right. The legs are going to land off to the right side. We're going to release the left hand. We're going to sweep. That is the left hand, right? Makes an L. Yes. So we're going to sweep it around. <laughs> See, I got I to gotta be careful. I don't wander off into the wilderness on this one. Hands plant either on the floor or on the shin. Lift through heart space. Pull away from the pelvis. Big breath. If you need more work, press down with the hands and lift the hip bone. You can lift and you can squeeze the extraneous energy out. And then when you're ready, forearms come down. The head can hang heavy, but if you really want to stretch out long forehead, chin, or nose, comes down to the mat. If you're not that flexible and you happen to be in a chair, you simply turn toward one knee, hands on one thigh, roll the belly down and in, and just let the head hang heavy. On the floor, you can fold over the inner thigh. Or if you want to roll into a full pigeon, we'll be here for roughly. Another minute in the hold, in the process. So, as one of you taught me to say, what is mine to do today? What is mine to do today? Is mine to hold? in a place where I'm uncomfortable and meet suffering. I'm gonna meet the suffering head on and dig there. Or is mine to unwind from the posture a little bit and hold and just breathe. The breath starts to draw in. The head lifts. The arms start to straighten. Lifting slightly, slowly, unwinding. Ah, drop one knee in at a time. 
Get into that IT band outside of that femur. Ooh, it's the seam between the quadriceps and the hamstrings. And then when you're ready, legs go the opposite way. We switch up and around. We look like two halves of some Christmas ornament. <laughs> Sweep around. So if you're in a chair, simple spinal twist. It's the holding that starts to unravel the energy. It's like pulling off spider webs. So find a comfortable space for the hands, a comfortable space for the spine. And then the next time you exhale, decide if the forearms are gonna come down to the mat or whether the hands are gonna come across on the thigh and the belly's gonna come down onto the thigh. If you wanna stretch completely out on the floor, take the time, unfold, heart space leads. And if you start to struggle, look it in the eye. Okay, I'm choosing to struggle. Why am I choosing to struggle? Maybe a lot of my life has been a struggle. So this is normal. Ooh, could struggling be normal for some of us? Hmm. Surrender to that. Breathe through the heart on that. Ask yourself what peace would look like. Right where you are. Three more breaths. Cleanse the body with the breath. Next breath starts to lift you and roll you, unwind you, and then one knee drops in at a time. Ah, and then next on the yoga surrender hit list for the day. Feet, plant, hands come right up behind those thighs. The heart lifts until maybe the rib points run into the thighs. Heel toe yourself together until you can hold there with the arms lifted and the elbows slightly over the knees. So if you're in a chair, you may need to do this one leg at a time where you draw the leg up and then the arms reach out. And then after a couple of breaths, you would simply switch. So the thighs are gonna wanna start traveling out. Keep the thighs tuned in toward each other. Feel the work there. Then press the feet into the floor. Really press them down and press them down and start to pull the heels toward the glutes. You're not going to move. You want to be stuck to the mat and pull the heels toward the glutes. And then the next thing that happens is it steals the breath for some reason. Breathe around it. There is nothing so important that it should steal our breath. Because without it, we cannot be of service. We cannot lead with the heart. One more breath. Ah, grab that right shin, that right ankle comes up on the thigh, tuck around the left shin, right hand comes inside, grabs hold a seated four, figure four, and then if you just want the giggles, find the balance. Ah. 
moving meditation. Yoga is simply moving meditation. Breathing in, breathing out, left heel, right glute, fold the legs down. Communal groan happens, fire log posture. Hands on the shit, lift. If you need to separate and put one heel on the inside of the ankle, if you're in a chair, you're simply folding across the top of the leg. If it's all too much, do whatever you want. But we try to fold right knee over left ankle, right ankle over left knee, lift up and away. And then heart center comes down and in. Oh yeah, that's 100% all your body. All yours. You made that. Everything you've ever eaten is in, has, has come into this moment. It's the culmination of your entire life worth of food and fitness and attention and stress and love and joy ah, right here in these hips. If the hands can move over and reach down. What about the posture is new? Most of the time I know that if something feels new, it's because I have changed. I have chosen differently. Oh, same posture, done it a thousand times. Oh, but my thought processes have changed. Your body rolls up. Oh, yes. Bring those legs down in contact, one more side, and then lift, bring it into contact. Oh yeah, elbows over, palms up, full pranam arms, reach for the message, reach for what's there, feet pressed down. You pull and come to attention. The hamstrings are singing. Sweet songs. Oh, Bob Marley. Sweet songs. Melody pure and true. Singing. This is my message to you. Singing, no worry about a thing. Left leg comes up. Is every little thing. Right arm, left arm inside. It's gonna be all right. If you want to balance, do that next. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Rise up this morning. Smile with the rising sun. Tree little birds sit. Sit by my doorstep. Fold those legs down. Lift up away. Modify as you need to. Figure four legs if you're in a chair. Lean it in. This is my message to you. <sighs> Brings back memories of Montana. My going away party coincided with a meteor shower and we stood outside in the field next to the house and sang that song to the stars over and over and over <sighs> history's mysteries and then the next time you breathe in Allow that body to roll up. Assume a fairly comfortable seated position for a moment. If you need something up under the tush, go forth, do good. If you're seated in a chair, feet land heavy on the floor, sits bones square. You can put your collar or collarbones, your shoulder blades back on the back of the chair and just rest.
So one thing that I've finally pieced together is that surrender or softening comes with allowing. So as you just sit and your energy becomes clearer, as the yoga postures have adjusted the frequencies of the nervous system and the brain waves, move into a space of allowing. What do you need to allow in your life in order to find that space of surrender or contentment? Relabel it. And then we have one minute just to be in the body. Bring in an ujjayi breath. If that would make sense. Loosen the jaw. Find muscles attached in the lower back that need to release. Feel the space in the palm of the hands. And then either choosing to stay right where you are in a meditative seat, roll down on the floor, throw the legs up the wall or over the end of the bed, throw the legs up in a chair. Find the ultimate surrender for you in this moment. Shavasana translates as corpse posture. It is the space and time in which the body and the energetic system and the soul come together and recognize each, each other and absorb your practice. Fill the body with three more breaths if that would work for you. Feeling the cleansing that goes in and the releasing that comes out. And if the mind happens to be jumpy today, move into your ujjayi breath that scuba diver breath or an dirga breath, three parts, belly, ribs, and collarbones.
What would it mean to surrender in every moment of every day, in every thought, in every deed? Maybe like that quote said yesterday, maybe we would start to hear the unsung songs in our heart. But for now, it's the little things and the little ways. Let the next breath come a little more deeply. And the next breath that follows on, stretch you a little more from the inside out. And then the next breath stretches your soul until it squeezes out of your skin and surrounds your body. You are perfect. Three breaths, belly, ribs, and collarbones. Sound or no sound, up to you. Inhale into the belly. Oh. Ribs. Fill all the way up, release it all out. Sealing it with an mmm and a kiss. Mm. Namaste. Be content. Find surrender. Chill into the moments. I love you. I love Ori. We love you very much. We'll see you guys next week. If anybody needs anything, you know where to find me. If you don't know how to find me, it's not hard. <laughs> Bye guys. We love you. Oh. Whew. I need to call and have some conversations with some of you guys. <laughs> and the recording.